The problem a lot of people have is that they treat their health as if they're going to pick up a girl in a nightclub, get her number, then get married. You see, people go into clubs all the time. We have guys wanting to get girls all the time and vice versa. The nightclub is a noisy place. You can't really have a conversation there. And then you may get a number. If that woman has actually given you the right number and not a flirt divert, maybe you can start texting her. Maybe you didn't even get a number. Maybe you simply got lucky. Meaning you got that girl back to your place. You had a bit of fun. She had to do the walk of shame the next morning. And the rest is history. You got a couple of texts. She's now sober. She's embarrassed. She's not replying. You may get a little bit desperate. People treat their health in exactly the same way. They go to the nightclub every week and find a different diet tactic. They start. They get a little bit of a result. Then they stop getting results. Then they fall off. Then they get pissed off. Then they go back to that nightclub, pick up another girl, another dieting tactic, try it, get a little bit lucky, then they fall off. They go back, get another number, get them back to their place, have a bit of fun, then they fall off. There is a switch that gets flicked when in your brain you realise that picking up girls for one night stands is fun. But it is not what adults, respectable adults do long term. We've all been through that phase. If you haven't, you're probably lying. There is a time when you have to grow up. And this is the same with your health. You see, when you actually put your health into the picture, you don't want to get that quick result that falls off. Yes, getting quick results is good, but you want them to be sustainable. So simply going out, getting a number and getting laid is cool, but it's not gonna work long term. We need to find that woman at the bar that you can have a chat to, that you can get to know, actually know their name before you sleep with them, actually build a relationship, second, third, fourth date lay. And then you want to see each other again. Then you're meeting their parents. Then she's told you she loves you. Then there's an altar. Then there's babies. The rest is history. That is the same with your nutrition, with your training, with your healthy lifestyle. Finding a method that works for you, that you can chat up a little bit, get excited about seeing every time, get butterflies when you're waiting outside their house on that third date, when you share your first kiss, you know it's going to last. You know there's not going to be any walk of shame because you've fallen off. It simply fits. It fits into your lifestyle. It fits into your needs. It fits into your tastes. And you know what? You're also proud. You're proud to tell your friends, your family. You're proud to follow that lifestyle around your parents. A lot of people don't actually find this way of eating and they get frustrated, they get overwhelmed. They start looking at the nitty gritty and think, I need to do this with blue light, I need to do this with plastic bottles, I need to do this with a dieting tactic. Before focusing on the basics before focusing on simply stopping eating so much crap, before focusing on not getting your movement in, before focusing on actually getting a bit of sleep. If you're one of these people that does go to the bar, just picks up a girl for a one night stand, cool, that's fine. But there comes a point in your life when settling down to long-term health becomes a priority. I just pray that you realize this before it is too late.